gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. These are the beer necessities, those really good necessities. We're gonna drink them up and tell you about them. What are we drinking? Drinking a fat bear. Uh, yeah, this is a beer from none other than Hop Butcher for the World out of Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. This is their Fat Bear. This is a peanut butter imperial stout brewed with chocolate. 10.5 ABV. Holy schnickies. I am ready for this. Beer. Uh, so we had the coffee bear. <laughs> yes, we did. It was okay. It was good. It was okay. Pretty, it was okay. Pretty good. I... I want to try it with no coffee. So okay. that's what we're doing. All right. Uh, this beer was sent to us by the good folks over at Hot Butcher. They are some fine <laughs> folks in the world. And as if every stout we've ever had from them, it's just over. Filled. Look at it. It's bubbling up out of the can. This is becoming a trend. Look at it. Dan gets... That's the goodness. Yeah. Trying to escape. Uh, I'm going to pour it into this hashtag proper glassware that we bought from the Hot Butcher store. Because we enjoy supporting them monetarily. Indeed. Oh, that is a... <laughs> <laughs> that just says super oh, silly. Oh, that is... That is a the richest, brownest, brownie battery mm -hmm. looking... Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to turn... One more look at this... Great friggin' Jets label. Oh yeah, Jets are you the man. Turn it around. That, oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh, just what stop. is that? Stop, stop it. The head is brown, okay? The head is brown. Swirl that up. Oh, I'm gonna. Look at it. It's trying. It's struggling. Mine it is, is struggling. Coded. Look at that. It look at that. Dude! <clears throat> that look is at that it. is That is peanut buttery chocolate like Oh, that looks that's fantastic. If you took a bunch of like chocolate malt balls and crushed them oh, up. Oh, yeah. And like liquefied them with chocolate milk, that's what it would look like. I love the way it looks. Dude, that it looks, looks amazing. You ready to get a whiff? Okay, I am. I just want <laughs> So we, we, we've let this warm up a little. Yeah, we, we've had it sitting out for about 20 minutes. Certainly. Yeah, yeah, we did our best to get this at optimal temperature, mm -hmm. and oh my gosh, <laughs> that smells stupid good. Oh my gosh, you know what? That's the the nutty butter, like the wafer Nut yes. chocolate peanut butter. Dude, oh the little Debbie, gosh. uh, the little Debbie nutty yeah. nutty wafers. Yeah, to a T. Nutty that bars. Is all I'm getting, and it's fantastic. And I love nutty bars. I love them so much. I just ate a couple. Like, Dude, in fact. I've probably eaten three three days worth of daily nutritional value <laughs> in about two hours. Just you looked at watching those a movie nutritional eating facts, buddies. and you just you said no, no. I will make the nutritional facts on this, and I will eat whatever daily value. <laughs> Today is the day. <laughs> this aroma is fantastic. All right, let's uh, can we? Okay, let's dive as much as the aroma is fantastic. Cheers. Thanks, Hot Butcher. Is that not one of the most <laughs> enjoyable stouts you've had in a, quite some time? Not barrel aged. <sighs> okay, so my first thought yeah. as I was drinking yeah. was, I can't believe this isn't barrel aged. It it lends itself so much to, to like, if they had a barrel aged version of this, it'd be insane. But it drinks almost like it is barrel aged. It's not. Like, those are the bare 
necessities, just knocking on your ceiling, G. <laughs> um, no, dude, the mouthfeel is insanely creamy and hefty, and the body is just full, viscous, velvety, silky smooth, airy, pillowy, just... It's like, it's like they whipped this up and injected just like whipped cream in it. <clears throat> and that, that peanut butter, my God, the peanut butter is, is just, it's on a whole nother level as far as peanut butter, like bear, like yeah. not bears, uh, peanut butter in beer. Yeah. It's it very much, it is, it, I think everything in here. Like, you go back to that Nutty Bar flavor, everything is so balanced. Like, you've got the... It's more on the side of sweeter chocolate, like milk chocolate. Mm. That really roasty, fresh peanut butter just dancing around. Like, all the flavors. And then that biscuity, wafery goodness just kind of holding it all together. It's creamy, but, like, look, it's leaving particulates. Imagine that's... The peanut butter or whatever. Now, right? I can't taste any of the booze, but I certainly am starting to. Feel yeah, there, there's a warming. There's it a is warming. a nice, pleasant warming. That it's just kind of, kind of starting to glow. If you took some peanut butter swirl ice cream and just melted it, and you had the liquid okay. left, I'm glad you brought that up because ice cream did come to mind earlier. Yeah. About like, wow, this is almost an ice cream. Because I don't know, I, you know, it's just like vanilla for me. I think if this was, if we drank this straight out of the fridge, it would be the same flavor, but feel like an ice cream. Yeah, possibly. And, and I think maybe some of that vanilla would just pop a little more, but like, this is, I think this is perfect. I could sip on this for right hours. Now. Dear God, I would want to. Oh my gosh. Is this like, is this upper echelon dessert beer? Yes. All day. All day. This is upper echelon, like stout. So... Hot Butcher Stouts. I've had a few. Mm -hmm. I've had a little bit more than you. You've had yep, a couple. I've had a couple. Um, is this your favorite so far? I'd have to say... See, we've drank some adjunct-laden stouts from them. Uh, the Mint. The, uh, the Mint I didn't care for because the Mint. Like the, the, I thought the Mint was over. The Roll Your Own Way. The Roll Your Own Way was very good. Coffee Bear. I think this is... Now you've had Coffee Bear. Isn't this far superior? Yeah. Like, you don't want the coffee. And I believe I Joe don't. said that in his review when he you reviewed know, the coffee bear because he, he had had the fat bear before, I believe. And right. he says, you know what? I, I don't think the coffee brought anything to the table that I wanted. See, and I, I want to go back and watch that review, too, because I feel like not having this first, I probably enjoyed the coffee aspect. But now having this, I'm like, yeah, I don't need the coffee. Everything that's here, I love. And I think mm. this, <clears throat> the only other thing is like, I wouldn't mind trying a barrel aged version of this. That might be kind of fun. A little wood, a little oak tannin coming I, in there too. I but. think the one downfall for me personally, oh, if man. I had to pick a downfall, mm -hmm. I would like to dial back the sweetness a little bit. Okay. And replace that sweetness that I dialed back with just a little bit more peanut butter. Okay. Like a little nuttiness. Okay. I, see, I'm, I think it's perfect where it is. I love okay. it. All right. <laughs> I think. Oh, man. Okay, here's my dilemma. You're sipping on this all night, okay? And I think that's where this can would be enough. Oh, it's a one and done. Maybe towards the end, I'm getting that sweetness kind of, it's becoming cloying, and you're like, oh, boy, this I, is really candy-ish. But if I, I'll if tell I, you, one can of this, and you are just... If I have a four-pack of this, this is like... Oh. I bust one out every now and then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Just a sip on You ready to look at tasting notes? Yeah, go ahead. All right. We've got creamy peanut butter. I'd say so. Yep. Rich chocolate. Very much so. Yeah. Ooh. Soft caramel. I did not pick that up at all. But maybe where you were getting a little vanilla. Placebo effect. <gasps> now nah, I'm getting it. I'm still just getting the the the, the peanut butter. The, no, the, no, the no, just thought of milky chocolate and the wafer. No, no. 
Think about the last time you had a caramello, caramello bar. I love those things. Now take a sip. It's like if they made a peanut butter caramello bar. And there's a little caramello in there. Um, fantastic beer. Fantastic chocolate. Fa oh, the Cadbury, the caramel eggs? Okay. Well, this beer's fantastic. Uh, Hot Butcher, I think you outdid yourselves with this one. Um, I am so thankful that we got to try this. <laughs> like, I'm so appreciative. This was a, mm. a wonderful, wonderful stuff. I'm almost speechless. What's your number? Four. Nine. What, uh, what makes it not a five? I think it might start to get a touch too sweet. There you go. I think that's okay. a nitpicky... Thing, but I'll tell you what, I'll nitpick it to a four or five. And like I said, my my one thing that's holding me back, I think, from a five is I would like to just chain down the sweetness just a touch and add a bit more nuttiness in its place. And I feel like this would be a perfect stout. <sighs> Damn good, damn good beer. Holy jeez. Uh, down in the description. Leave us a comment, hit the like, subscribe if you could. Uh, we've got social medias, we've got untaps, his, mine, Twitters, Instagrams, both FLX beer reviews. Uh, have you had a stout that's made you go apparently gaga for this? Um, let us know. Love to hear from you. Uh, Hot Butcher, once again, thank you so much for this beer. We appreciate it. And thanks to everyone watching. Cheers.